Anglers, are you ready to take your fishing game to the next level? Well, today we're talking about the best coast of fishing sunglasses of 2022, and we have some new additions, which I'm pretty excited about. So let's get into it. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. Today we're gonna to be talking about our top picks from Costa in regards to fishing sunglasses. It's almost impossible to talk about fishing sunglasses without talking about Costa. So this one was really easy. It was actually more difficult to narrow it down to just, well, what I did is a top five plus a bonus. So we're gonna be getting into that. I'm really excited about it because there are some really good new additions here. If at the end of this, you're ready to order, do not forget about Sporter X and definitely don't forget about our Seabitter Guarantee because with that, it allows you to order risk-free. All right, let's get into this. First up, we have the Ferg, named of course after Ray Ferguson, the founder of Costa, and you have an amazing frame here. Not only do you have a gigantic lens, tons of coverage, and of course, being that these are all Costa, you have that 580 lens technology, which gives you optimal crispest clarity, crispity, crunchity, crispy clarity. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, color contrast. It allows you to see everything that you need to see. Of course, they're all polarized. We're talking fishing, you need polarized. But just that gigantic lens, all the coverage, all the protection, all of the optimal clarity that you could possibly hope for in just a really cool looking package. You have not only that eight base wrap, but you also have a built in side shield here, which gives you that much more protection and you even have a little bit of hooding here. So really, no matter where the sun is at, no matter where you're at on the boat, you have protection against the sun. The thing that I absolutely love, and you'll hear me talk about this quite a bit, is the adjustable nose pads. It's really tough to find a plastic frame with adjustable nose pads, and you got it here, which is amazing. And they've been incorporating that quite a bit in some of their newer styles, which like I mentioned, I will get into. The thing that you really benefit from with an adjustable nose pad, of course, you're going to be able to get a more customized fit on your nose, but also it gives you a little bit more control over fogging. And we know that that definitely can be a huge pain point. And so what you can do is when you pinch them together, it pushes the frame up and maybe even out a little bit, which gets it away from that really major heat source, which is your face. And it allows you to have a little more control over cutting down fogging. And while speaking about fogging, they do have a little bit of venting in here in the nose pad as well. I will say though, that when they're on your face, when they're on your nose, your nose is probably blocking those ventings marks, but still, again, adjustable nose pads, so you're good there. You have sweat channels in the temples. You have that hydrolyte grip all over the place. All of these frames have that same hydrolyte grip, which is super grippy, really hydrophilic, which means that it absorbs moisture, which means that as you sweat, it grips even better. Uh, it's on the temples, it's on the nose, keeps it on your face comfortably all day long. In the side shields as well, you have a little bit of that hydrolyte grip material, which might be just more of a function or a design thing more than a function thing. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks really good. That's for sure. These can take a prescription as can all of these on this table. And of course, that same 580 lens technology is available in prescription. When it comes to sizing this as an SFW of 134 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium or a women's large. Next up, we have a frame that I have been anticipating eagerly for a very good while, really since the earlier Pro Series models came out. This is the Tuna Alley Pro, and we are gonna be talking uh, quite a bit about the Pro Series here because they're amazing. Of course, they're gonna make this lineup. Speaking of pro things, you should be a pro and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you wanna go pro, you should check out our other fishing videos and blogs. They are gonna definitely, in rich your life, let's put it that way. The Tuna Alley Pro is incredible. It is everything that you love in the Tuna Alley, which has been one of their most popular frames, if not the most popular frame, for a very long time and always would hit that best of fishing sunglasses list from us, and they've made it even better, as they've done with the whole Pro Series, as they've been revamping these amazing styles. You do still have that venting in the side, but they made it a little bit more, 
I don't know, kind of sleek, a little cooler design where they are making it out of the hydrolyte material. Again, kind of some built-in side shields here. You have that hydrolyte on the bottom of the frame where it makes contact with the top of your ear, as well as on the insides of the temple tips. You again have those sweat channels. You again have that hooding a little bit built in on the side, uh, even into the temple quite a bit. So where you really are gonna find the gaps between your face and the frame, they're putting a little extra protection there. Again, no matter where the sun is at, you are covered. The appearance is a little more angular as well. You can still tell it's the Tuna Alley, but it looks a little bit different. I think it looks a little bit cooler personally. It's it, it, They kept enough of that original style of the Tuna Alley that anybody who loves the Tuna Alley won't dislike this, but they still did update it. They kind of revamped it so it looks you know, still unique and different. And I love that. You also have a keeper slots in the temple tips, which are uh, reinforced with a little bit of metal there. So super durable. And of course, an adjustable nose pad as they've done with their whole pro series. And I already mentioned how much I absolutely love that. The Tuna Alley Pro has a durable cam hinge, not a spring hinge. I didn't mention the Ferg, by the way, has a little bit of a spring hinge in it. Uh, I tend to not be a huge fan of spring hinges just because as an optician for 15 plus years, that's one of the things that I see so frequently break. The spring gets sprung and you can't really fix it. Not a complaint, I will mention, since some of these do have spring hinges that I notice in Costa, because there are ways to do it better. Anyway, just something to mention, I tend to prefer the more simple, straightforward cam hinge. And when it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 136 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium to large and a women's large. Not too different from the original Tuna Alley at 137. And next up, we have the Diego and me being from San Diego, definitely one of my favorites. This frame does have a spring hinge after my little rant on spring hinges. I will mention this is a different design. This isn't the typical little barrel spring hinge where there's one pin that goes through that holds onto the spring and then holds on to the front of the hinge. It is a unique hinge design where uh, I actually wish I could explain it better, but it just, it kind of springs on itself without using an actual spring. So really cool design, definitely very sturdy, has a little bit of that cam action, which I really like. Uh, this does not have an adjustable nose pad, but it does have a very soft hydrolite filled uh, nose piece. Does have hydrolite on the temple, like I mentioned, but only on the inside, not on the bottom but it's plenty and it's definitely grippy enough to hold onto your head. Grippy, grippy. Uh, it is textured as well near the ends of the temples, which is gonna help with that much more grip. You do have sweat channels in this, not quite the same uh, relief design as you have in some of the others with this sweat channel in the temple, still very functional. Again, another frame with a gigantic lens, tons of coverage, built-in side shield again. There is a little bit of kind of more of a flow design in the hooding on the top. Still, no matter where the sun is at, you're covered. And that same hooding goes into the temple a little bit there as well as you can see. Also, keeper slots in the ends of the temples that is reinforced with metal, so super durable, super strong. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 138 millimeters, which lands you at a men's large or a women's large to extra large. Next up, we have the Reefton Pro, yet another Pro in the Pro series. I love this frame. This was one of the original Pro revamps, and it's an amazing style. You get all of those same upgrades that you got in the Tuna Alley Pro and the other pros that I will mention. Sweat channels in the temple, hydrolite in the temple. Uh, they actually did do an upgraded hydrolite in their Pro series, which grips that much better. It's that much more hydrophilic, that much better at keeping them comfortably on your head all day long, even as the sun is beating down on you and you're sweating or the water, salt water's kicking up into your face. They're gonna grip really well. Of course, adjustable nose pads, like I mentioned, you have that hooding on the top, not quite as ample as in the Tuna Alley Pro, but a larger lens, again, huge lens, little bit of a side shield 
uh, built in here and the hydrolyte is on the bottom of the temple to make contact with the top of your ears. Something to note for you longtime Costa fans and those of you who are very familiar with the original Reefton, the Reefton Pro is larger, large enough larger that it puts it actually into a different fit category. With the SFW of 138 millimeters on the Reefton Pro, it lands you at a men's large or a women's large to extra large. Next up, we have the Fantail Pro, yet another Pro, and actually a Rexy Award winner. Love this style, again, a revamp of the original Fantail, everything that you love in the Fantail, and more. A little more extended side shields, all of that hydrolyte in the temple, sweat channels, adjustable nose pads, metal keeper slots, really everything that you could possibly want or imagine in an amazing fishing frame you have in the Fantail Pro. And when it comes to sizing, this one differs even more from the original. Again, if you're a big fan, this is a different fit category now. If you love the original Fantail and it fit you well, the Fantail Pro probably will be a little bit large on you. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 139 millimeters, which lands it in that men's large or women's large to extra large range. And last but certainly not least, we have our bonus frame here, which is the Blackfin Pro. Yet another upgrade update to an original Blackfin's amazing. Again, all those same things. You have hydrolyte in the temple, and this does make contact with the top of the ear. It's on the bottom of the temple. Adjustable nose pads, sweat channels, metal keeper slots, hooding on the top, big old side shield area here in temple, of course. If you love the original Blackfin, the Blackfin Pro is incredible. Again, a little larger than the original Blackfin. With an SFW of 135 millimeters, it's landsy as a men's medium to large or a women's large. And that wraps it up for our top picks from Costa for best fishing sunglasses of 2022. Very excited about this new lineup. Obviously their whole Pro Series revamp has been incredible and I cannot talk about it enough. As always, reach out to us with any questions you might have. We'd love to hear from you. We have opticians who would love to answer any questions you might have, especially if you are a prescription wearer. We have all of the answers, all of them. If you are ready to order, stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And again, if you're ready to order, do not forget about that Seabrita guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And if peace of mind is your thing, us opticians, again, like I mentioned, we are like peak peace of mind because we have all the answers to all of your questions, especially prescription related, maybe even like shoe related. I don't know, you can probably talk to someone about some shoes, we'll help you out there, or anything else that might come up, like what's the right setting for your lawnmower in the grass height? You know, we have answers, so check us out. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, because that really helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're already to shop any of these great styles, which why would you not be? You can click this button right here to take you right to them. Also, we have great content on our social media outlets, and I think you should check us out there too, because I think you'd like it. That's why I recommend it.